Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 433 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact you in creating your living legacy. Currently, each Friday, we are in a multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book, The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount reading and rereading this book on my own trek of life, and I trust that you'll benefit from it also. Keeping in continuity with our wisdom trek, I will be adapting it to The Five Trails on Life's Trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. This evening, we are having our daughter Janet and her husband Rowan over for dinner to assist them with their tax planning for this year. We have learned through the years as a small business owners that has given us quite a bit of experience that we need to be able to assist others with their tax questions and planning. This week has been a continuation of steady client work and podcast-related projects. It is sometimes hard to prioritize all the work that needs to be completed, which can lead us to not being as effective as we'd like to be. Our core values do help, but it is a struggle at time to make the progress that we had planned on. Even when we do end up heading down a rabbit trail or becoming distracted from what our focus should be, our personal philosophy of life will help us to get back on the trail and heading in the correct direction. We all have a particular philosophy or worldview about life. It is what our integrity and value system is based on. This is why it is so important that we create a powerful personal philosophy that will drive us forward, even with the distractions and obstacles on life's trek. And on our trek for today, we will continue on the first of five trails on life's trek, which is the philosophy trail. Specifically, we want to continue our exploration on how to develop a powerful personal philosophy. If you've missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them to get caught up on our progress so far. We have a lot of ground to cover today, so let's break camp and continue on the first trail of our extended trek as we cover the five trails on life's trek, and this is Philosophy Part 3. As a reminder, our overall extended trek will cover the five trails on life's trek, and those five trails are philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and lifestyle. Last week on our hike, we learned that to create a powerful personal philosophy, you must learn from your own past experiences and then from those trusted mentors that can guide you where you do not have your own experience. You must be willing to expand your horizons, to break free of those shackles of an incorrect mindset that is holding you back. Today, we want to start out by realizing that we must also be willing to learn from other people's experiences with failure. You do not have to experience everything in life yourself. Other people and their personal experiences offer untold opportunities for learning. Through the experiences of others, there are two valuable sources of information available, two attitudes of mind, two categories of those with similar experiences but have remarkably different results. What you are exposed to on a daily basis are representatives of both groups. Each group seeks its own audience, and each has an effect on those who choose to listen. You must understand that both sources are important. One serves as an example to be followed, the other is an example to be avoided as a warning to be studied but not emulated. The first is you should be a student of failure. It is part of the world's experience. It is part of life's experience. Why would you want to study failures, you might ask? And the answer is quite simple, so that you can learn what not to do. All experiences can serve as your teachers, provided that you learn from the information and invest its values into your life. There are those who teach that associations with people who have not done well with their lives and their opportunities should be avoided at all costs for fear that you'll learn from their poor habits as a consequence and repeat their unfortunate mistakes. However, think about it in this manner. Those who do not learn from the mistakes of their past are condemned to repeat them. If you ignore the lessons of the past from whatever source, then you may become victims of the process of trial and error. By ignoring the lessons of history, your own trials will inevitably try you and your own errors will ultimately destroy you. It is unfortunate, perhaps, that those who fail do not teach their experiences for all to hear. If you had an opportunity to learn from the negative experiences of others, you might well save your own life from certain disaster. Paula and I have had our business and personal failures that we have had to learn from. It would have been much better to learn those from others so that we did not have to experience them for ourselves. 
As you learn from the failures of others, you must also be willing to learn from other people's successes. It is worth whatever time you take and whatever you must invest to make a study of those people who do well. Gather the ideas and the information from all available sources. Read the books. Attend the seminars. Invest time in gathering knowledge that success requires. Study the habits, the language, the manners of dress, and the disciplines of those who have succeeded. Proverbs chapter 15.22 tells us, Plans go wrong for lack of advice, but many advisors bring success. One of the great sources of wisdom from those who have done well can be found in the many quote books that are available at bookstores or online. Just by reading the words of what the greatest among us, past and present, have had to say, we can come to a better understanding of the thoughts that guided the lives of those who were great enough, persuasive enough, influential enough, and successful enough to be quoted. To assist you in your quest for success, I have created and published a searchable database of over 10,000 quotes that I have collected over many years. If you'd like access to this database of inspirational quotes, the link is available on the main page of wisdom-trek.com. At this point, there is no charge for the use of this resource, but you do have to sign up online to access the quotes so that we can assist you if you need it and to keep you informed on enhancements to the program. This quote database can be a treasure to help you along your life's trek. As Proverbs chapter 1 verse 3 mentions, their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives to help them to do what is right, just, and fair. In addition to learning from other people's failures and successes, we also need to learn how to capitalize on the power of positive influence. You should be in constant search of people that you can admire and respect, people after whom you can pattern part of your own behavior. Much of who and what you are at this very moment is a composite of the many people who have influenced you over the years. When you were younger, your idols were often superheroes, storybook characters, movie stars, sports players, and famous musicians. For a while, you may have even walked or dressed and even tried to talk like your heroes. As you grew older and your own unique personalities began to develop, your emulation of others became less apparent, but their influence was there nonetheless. Regardless of your age or circumstances, you are never beyond the reach of those influences. The key is to find unique human beings whose personalities and achievements simulate, fascinate, and inspire you. Then you should strive to assimilate their best qualities. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 15 encourages us to continue learning. And it says, intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Great projects are always built from a pattern or blueprint. In this lifetime, there is no greater project for you than the deliberate development of your own life. Therefore, you do need a blueprint, something or someone you can look at and pattern yourself after if you want to make changes and progress. Your life plan blueprint, which is on the resources page of wisdom-trek.com, can assist you in this aspect. Since this influence will determine to some extent the direction of your life, it is far better to deliberately choose the people you will permit to influence you than to allow the power of wrong influence to weave its effect on you without your knowledge or conscious choice. Within time as a student, you may even exceed your teachers. As Isaac Newton said, If I have seen farther than others, it is because I was standing on the shoulders of giants. We are deliberately taking our trek slowly as we ponder how to develop a powerful personal philosophy on our continued hike up the trail of philosophy today. This is not an easy hike to make. It requires absorbing new information that may challenge your current philosophy. It will require learning from the failures and successes of others, as well as capitalizing on the power of positive influence from those who are your heroes and mentors. Next week on Philosophy Friday, we will explore how to become a good observer, a good listener, and much more in your pursuit of a powerful personal philosophy. Make sure you join us on the continuation of our trek on the Trail of Philosophy next Friday. I do know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in living the rich and satisfying life that you desire. Our next trek is Motivation Monday, where we'll explore more trails on how to get and stay motivated to bring value to your world each day. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Now we'll finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them, and invite them to come along with us each day. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Wisdom Trek so that each trek will be downloaded to you automatically. 
I would also appreciate it if you'd rate and review us on iTunes or Google Play so that others will find out about Wisdom Trek and join us. And our journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.